Okay, back on. So, we notice how they are doing these denying the Lord. So I'm I'm putting I'm doing a response to Ricky man here because he said, "Oh, but there's other versions of it." Sweetheart, there's only one version, the King James. Okay? There's only one. Even those devils know that. Okay? <laughs> the devils know that. And that is why they're trying to get you to deny the Bible. The Bible doesn't contradict nothing. It's man. It's the lies of man. It's which why y'all being led astray right now. Okay? Let's get it right. 1 Timothy 6.3 1 Timothy 6.3 If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, he is proud knowing nothing but doing about questions and strifes of words, whereof cometh in envy, strife, railings, evil, sermissions, perverse disputants of men of corrupt minds, and dispute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness for which for such withdraw thyself. But godliness with content, contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. Okay? And have having food and raiment, let us be there with content. But they, they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts which draw men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all evil. While some coveted after, they have erred from the fate and pierce themselves through many sorrows. Hello! It's the rich, the corrupted, the Satanists, the, the children of Satan. Y'all confused much? Ain't the word, y'all. Okay? Is You want to know why you were in slavery? Why people was in slavery? Well, that's the reason why people was in slavery. Y'all too busy listening to an adversary devil. Too busy following too many devils. Okay? You're doing it still. That's why y'all still not saved yet. And y'all still sinning out here and being wicked. That's why. Y'all too busy denying this word. He told us. And you're going to say, oh, you know, there's many versions of the Bible. No, uh-uh. There's only one true version, and this is the one. That is why y'all deny it so much, because y'all don't want to heed to the righteousness to do right. Get it right. God said to be do right, stop sinning. Y'all don't want to do that. So therefore, y'all denying it. Okay? Don't be trying to pin that on this. Don't do that. Y'all know for a fact the doctrines that y'all listening to all heed to your sin. Y'all talking about, oh, we love pornography. We love prostitution. We love this. Y'all love to sin. And so that's why y'all denying this. Let's get it right. Nothing is contradicting nothing in this word. It's only men who ain't with God that lies out their teeth. God already said and warned us that it's going to be people like this. So therefore, don't be calling this. <laughs> Y'all the liars, okay? Okay, let's get it right. 2 Timothy 4, 3, 4. 4. Okay, I think I already preached that one. About nobody want to hear the sound doctrine. I already did that one. Galatians 1, 6, 10. Because there's been some liars. I already know about the Freemasons telling people they, they shouldn't be seeking Jesus Christ. They got that on, on their website. They don't want nobody to seek the Lord Jesus Christ because, first of all, they're devils. And, of course, devils don't want you to go to heaven. So, what they do? Tell you not to seek him. Duh. Okay. Galatians 1, 6. Here, I marvel that ye are soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ into... Unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. <laughs> but though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so, so say I now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. For do I now persuade men our God? 
or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. Bingo. Seeking another gospel besides the word itself is mentioned that too. Okay. It already mentioned it. Okay. Therefore, y'all seeking other gospel. It mentioned what y'all been saying, but y'all going against this though. But this is what, it, this is written before y'all even say anything. Think about it. This is written before y'all even thought about anything. This is warning you not to seek other gospels, but seek him. Only Jesus. No, y'all want to go seek other idol gods. That's the problem. Again, heed to your, you want to heed to your sin. That's why you're denying this word. Let's not get it confused. 1 John 4, 1, 3. Yeah, I'm make, I making response to Ricky Man here because him and others has been blaming, oh, slavery is by the, by the Christian people. Lies from their teeth. No, it's not. Slavery is based upon people who do not want to heed to the Lord Jesus Christ, to heed to Satan. Get it right. Satan is the adversary in this world. And that's all y'all heed to. Uh-huh. And y'all refuse to get right. So don't be blaming that on Jesus Christ. Blame it on yourselves listening to an adversary. Do the right thing like you're supposed to. 1 John 4, 1, 3. Here we go. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are going on into the world. Hereby know ye the spirit of God, every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of an antichrist, wherever ye have heard that it will come, and even now is already in the world. Ye of God, little children, have overcome them, because great is he that is in you that he is in the world. Bingo, antichrists. That's all y'all are. Okay? You ain't nothing but some a bunch of antichrists. You go against Jesus Christ, but he to us. Okay? Y'all heed to other doctrines out here. I know it. Y'all heed to all these devils, but y'all so against this word, though, that I already warned you beforehand. Okay? Confused much again? Satan got y'all confused. Y'all need to stop listening to the food. 1 Corinthians 14, 33. 1 Corinthians 14, 33. Here we go. For God For God is not the author. Hey, 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 here we go, y'all. We write that. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Let your women keep in silence in the churches where it is not permitted to them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as is said in the law. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for women to speak in the church. What came the what came the word of God out of from you, or came unto you only? If any man think himself to be a prophet spiritual, let him call and acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. But if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. Wherefore, brethren, convey to prophecy and forbid not to speak with tongues. Let all things be done decently in order. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace is in all churches of the saints. Okay? Who's the author of confusion? Satan. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Opposite of God, right? <laughs> Again. Let's get it right and stop blaming it on the Christians and, the, and Jesus Christ. Y'all know it's Satan that y'all need to. Let's get it right again. First Timothy. Let's go back here. Uh, where's First Timothy? That's Jews. I know it's back here somewhere. That's Ephesians. There we go. Second, first, second Timothy. First Timothy. One, three. Because it's just ridiculous. First Timothy one three. 
As I besought thee to abide still at Ephesus, when I went into Macedonia, that thou mightest charge some that they teach no other doctrine, neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies, which minister to questions rather than godly edifying, which is faith. So do. Now the end of the commandment is charity of a pure heart and a good conscience and a faith of unfeigned. Bingo again. Throughout his scriptures, he's talking about do not give in to other doctrines. He done said it many times before. Where y'all Satan is coming at? Are oh, y'all Antichrist going against this? Because you know why? You know why you're going against this? It already written and warned people before y'all even did. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's get right. Don't be blaming it on the, on the Bible. Y'all blaming it on yourselves. First Timothy, okay. Re Re Revelation 13. Notice how many times he, he written this. This Bible is the truth. Okay. Notice the time. Notice how many times he written this. Many scriptures talking about the same thing. And y'all gonna say, oh. No, I don't know the Bible is the truth. Antichrist is going against the Bible, huh? Yeah, uh-huh. Let's go there. I'm going to tell y'all that y'all lie. And I stood upon the stand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea. That's talking about Satan. Having seven heads and ten horns. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to show y'all how y'all like to lie on this word. huh? And upon his horns ten crowns and upon his heads the name of the blasphemy. Of blasphemy and the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth was the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave his power, his seat, and great authority. And I saw one of his heads, it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wondered after the beast. Okay, the world wondered after the beast, y'all. So, what y'all talking about? The oh, it's the Christians and the Bible. No, baby, it's the beast that y'all serve too much. It's Satan. Get it right. Y'all denying this word instead of serving the right. Oh, y'all don't serve the right God. You denying the word and serving a devil. Okay. So don't be blaming this on the Lord. Y'all blame it on yourselves. And they worship the dragon which gave power to the beast. And they worship the beast saying who is like unto the beast who is able to make war with him. See this word already fulfilling Okay, it's warning you ahead of time that the Satan has been taken over to where y'all have to, where y'all are worshiping it. That's why y'all deny this word so much. Bingo, bingo. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies and power is given unto him to continue for it in two months. And he opened his mouth and blasphemed against God. Hello? Why y'all think y'all so against God right now? Ha <laughs> ha. Y'all fulfilling what it's saying. So don't say it's a lie. Y'all the liars. To blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are now written in the book of life of the Lamb slain for the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. You're talking about enslavement right here. Well, you are here to a beast, a satanic beast. You will be enslaved in captivity. So stop blaming it on Jesus. You're not, you're not worshiping Jesus. You're worshiping Satan. You ignorant devils. You're so confused, you blaming on the wrong one. Blame it on yourselves, not worshiping who you're supposed to be worshiping. Okay? You know Jesus Christ set you free. You know it. He that killeth the, with the sword must be killed with the sword. He is the patience and the faith of the saints. And I behold, I beheld another beast coming out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him, and caused the earth, and then was dwelled therein to worship the first beast, whose daily whose wound was healed, and he do a great wonder, so that he make the fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of men, and deceive it them. That dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. 
Y'all y'all worshiping Satan right now. A lot of y'all. <laughs> so I'm gonna be coming and blaming it on Jesus. Okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm making y'all out of a liar. Y'all all liars trying to blame it on this living word here. And you know you've been worshiping Satan for a good while now. Okay? Hmm. And he calls all both great and rich and poor, free and bound, to receive the mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of the name. Here's wisdom. Let them, let him that had understanding count the number of the beast, for it's the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6. And y'all gonna talk about this. Oh, I don't know if the Bible is the truth. Oh, Satan got y'all sicko. Y'all been following the devil so so much he got y'all questioning the word now. <laughs> he deceived all of y'all. And y'all on here talking about, oh, I don't know about the Bible. Yeah, that's what he wants y'all to think. Y'all falling straight in the hands of the enemy. Satan's enemy. <laughs> Satan. Y'all falling straight in the hands of the enemy of Satan thinking that way. And he got y'all thinking they're going against this. Ain't that something? Notice the pattern. So I'm going to make a part two, three to this and come back. Jesus Christ is God. 